Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll speak about the season 86 recap with my main team Falange Arancione. Firstly we speak about the league achievement. I won the league 5. I'm really happy for that. We speak about the tactic that I use because I leverage on play creativity in a lot of matches and thanks to that I won and I made points thanks to the special event that I created on top. We speak about the economics. I'm really in a specific phase in which my core players are becoming stronger and stronger season after season with a huge salary increase and I'm trying to find a way to manage this fact. To conclude the video, we'll speak about my cycle training that I called the cross cycle in which I finally completed my five core players that are building a cross in the field from the central defender to the forward. So we'll see how I'm managing the cycle training called cross cycle. Firstly, let's speak about the league achievement. At the beginning of the season, I created three specific objectives. The first target was at the end, uh, create profit thanks to the season trading. And I was not able to achieve this target, mainly because I decided to wait a little bit more, waiting the peak of the demand of season 87 at the beginning of the season 87, making, trying to make more profit. Therefore, if we look at the status of season 86, I was not able to achieve this target. Second step, improve the B-weekly. I was not able to achieve this target too, because I increased the income thanks to the stadium, for example. Also, I uh, had the reward for the first positioning, but still was not enough for the huge wage increase that I am facing right now, and we'll see later why. The third target was uh, keep the presence in League 5, because anyway I was uh, training at 10%. Uh, my core player were with uh, low playmaking skill and I was playing 3-5-2, so I was not sure to keep, uh, to be competitive enough, but at the end I was able to win the league. So I'm really happy for this because I was not planning. Now, let's speak about the tactic, the approach that I used during the season. As I told you, I was not expecting to win. If I was able to achieve this is thanks to the experience that I did as a coach of the national team, really. Because I, my team was not the strongest one. My opponents were strong with better stats, mainly in the first part of the season. In the second part, uh, the playmaking training was uh, improving my midfield and uh, my ratings were a little bit better, but anyway, I was not the strongest one. I used the right players with the right specialty in the right place, and this helped me to use and leverage play creativity. This match can support me to show you, to share with you this concept. Firstly, I was away. My opponent at min 1 was with better replays just for the own bonus. 3 5 2 versus 3 5 2, you have the own bonus, you have more replays because you have more midfield in general. If, firstly, you have better players. And this was the case because my opponent was with stronger players in terms of skill, older, and also, with, also if my stamina was not good, his stamina was less uh, competitive than mine and he in the second part of the match lost a lot of uh, values due to the fact that uh, the stamina was not good and this helped me to win also this you cannot see here because it's an average of the values in the 90 minutes but if you have a look at the minute one and at the end of the uh, match you will see a really huge drop in the ratings secondly i did my marking Stealing other midfield, losing even more side attack, but still I was gaining more action and this was my goal. And as the last point, main important, was that I was playing play creativity and I had a really better specialty than him. Let's see the battle of specialty. I had three unpredictable versus one, so I won the battle of the unpredictable. I won the battle of quicks. Guys, that was uh, is one of the most important things to play play creativity because uh, the quick uh, player are the ones that can score uh, with a more percentage the goals and the assist and uh, 
let me say, they have a good realization in terms of special event. And so if you play creativity, the quick player are the better ones. In terms of head, we were one to one. I lost the battle of the technical guy, but still is not the best specialty in terms of realization. And also, if you need, you have not to consider the powerful striker in the special event because it's not a special event. Is you will see the event in the other chances. I had the powerful striker that is one of the best player in Attrick right now, and my opponent was not including his lineup. So this is I don't know two three replays, two three replays just for that. So this is what this was the fact. I gained replays thanks to better specialty, better play creativity, and man marking. So at the end, I was luck. I won, and I won so much. Four to one was too much. But if I was playing three five two without play creativity, without man marking, my opponent. Uh, the replay were not 44, were uh, 50, 60. So this is the fact. How we need to improve our chances each match, uh, and sometimes uh, the random and the luck uh, will uh, give uh, to us uh, a reward. Let me say, I'm completely aware of the fact that I was lucky in this match, but I followed. Let me say the the, the luck. Be aware that uh, this match. Also, if was, I was playing like this, I was also able to lose this match. So we need to be careful that I did a good approach. I did a good tactic, but I'm not the god of a trick that thanks to that I won the match. I just improved a little bit my replays, but I was also able to lose, lose the match. This is really important. You need to know that because with this fact, you will enjoy the game in a, better, in a better way. If you are constant to do these tips, you will see in the long term a good result in terms of performance. Let's go ahead. Economics. Here we can see the club value trend and I added the, the last season 86. What you can see, the club value, that is the total, that means the estimated team value plus the cash, the money that you have. And I'm including in the cash also the reserve. So you can see a positive trend season after season from when I rebuild the project in season 77 with the 17 years old players. Each season the value is increased. Now when my players are becoming older, the value is more, let me say, stable because I reached the peak of the value that I can achieve. I think really this curve will be more or less stable. Maybe I will have some still some increase, but more or less will be stable. And in some moment for sure, when I will be competitive, when my team will be 30 years old, I will see a negative trend. But in this moment, the club value is stable more or less. Speaking about the season, I lost 1 million. I was not able to do profit as i told you before we will see in the next season and the, what we can see here i lost 10 million and i was not able to improve the total uh, the team value with the same value so i i paid 10 million more and my team improved by 9 million but anyway i I'm really believe that in the next season i really hope that the the, the kpi will be better this is a transition uh, let me say season I have my core player with 26 years old, that is uh, 26 until 29 more or less is the period in which you pay more the salary. Uh, the skill are becoming really huge, I have a primary skill really huge. Uh, the salary is increasing, you can see the trend. For example, when I add in the cycle training uh, the pirate, I obviously lost money because I added in the team value with the value of uh, uh, the pirate and I increase the salary. The same with the, my bomber caller. I bought him, I lost, and not only him, I lost money cash, but I increased the team value and the salary increased. After that, there was a moment in which I cleaned the, the team, uh, improving the salary, making more cash, being ready to buy my two core players that ended the cycle, the core player of my cycle training that you will see later. 
and this season more or less is the same of season 84. I really hope to show you that I will prove the economics because this season I sold someone, the salary is a little bit better, but still my core players need to grow. For sure I will increase the salary, for sure I will achieve 60, uh, 600k uh, for salary and I need to handle with season trading, is the only way. But now let's go ahead. Here we are with the cross cycle. Let's see what I mean for cross cycle. Firstly, these are my core player in season 85. Uh, two wings and the forward. This is the lineup that I was using uh, during the leagues. Of course, uh, my bomber caller was playing in the midfield to gain the playmaking training during the friendly matches. What I did this season? I added the eagle nodu was a complete defender with uh, the skill defending that I won't touch already with 17 with already some uh, playmaking he is unpredictable he is nigerian and i'm really happy because i following uh, the nigerian community uh, i love uh, all the project around nigeria and i wanted in my main team a nigerian guy and i added also an italian guy trentin the magician that was with more playmaking that will be the pillar of the midfield and will be my core player in the midfield this is the completed uh, let me say lineup for my core players. This is the lineup that I will do during the league matches, training them at 100% playmaking, and in the friendly matches, the Hegel and the Bomber will play as inner midfielder to gain the playmaking uh, um, training. What I will see as final target here we have in three seasons, more or less, or four seasons. Uh, my uh, the eagle uh, central defender will be completed in playmaking maybe he won't be able to achieve 17 but 16 uh, and half uh, my bomber caller that is a powerful striker will achieve 15 my wings uh, that are with me really a lot of season uh, will be 80 80 and my uh, magician trentin will achieve 19 playmaking building what across in my lineup i will have my idea was i wanted core players in each department from the defense to the forwards speaking also about inner midfielder and the two wings so after that all the places of my lineup are covered with a really strong player and i will add in the right moment senior players less expensive but good ones to complete the lineup at the end, this will be uh, the final target of this player that I'm really happy because, as I told you, I had a Nigerian guy, I had an Italian guy, is my home country, I will pay less salary, but I also uh, following the under-21, so anyway, I really, I wanted to support my national team. I'm supporting also two uh, projects of my friends in Lebanon and in San Marino, I'm really happy to build this player for them, trying to, to support also their national team, and I add in the cycle the bomber caller I found in the market, um, was difficult to add this uh, player in my cycle training because I wanted all player that uh, was uh, around the national teams and uh, Koller was without playmaking. I wanted a player, a powerful striker without playmaking because I wanted to push playmaking meanwhile I wanted completed scoring and it was not easy to find in the right moment a player with that skill because in under 21 stage uh, we are in uh, training playmaking at 10 already so uh, it was too much for my cycle training so it was difficult at the end what is the conclusion i bought two amazing players that are playing right now in national team and they have a really huge experience i bought a really good player of my own country that there is a lot of competition and maybe won't play in the national team but still uh, i will pay less salary and still is a good player 
player and I will boost his experience by myself. I bought a real nice uh, central defender that for Nigeria is good and I'm sure he can gain some experience in the national team. For the bomber caller, um, it's difficult that he will achieve uh, the, the presence in the national team um, because he's a, with a limit of skill, but uh, anyway, I'm happy of that. Also, the fact that he's not 18 like also Nodu in some way is better for me because I'm really paying a lot of uh, salary already for my wings that are 18 in wingers. So for some season, if uh, this skill is 17 and also this skill is 17, for me is not a problem. For sure, this five core player will have full feed, um, loyalty, will have a good average experience and will be the 15% of and even more, I think, of my team value when they will be 30 years old. Now, to close the video, of course, I need to share with you the objective of Season 87. Therefore, three points. Firstly, leverage on Season Trading. This time, I want to see good numbers in terms of money. I want to see the cash increase and minimize the salary increase impact. This means that it is impossible in this moment, in this phase, on my cycle training, I will see the salary increase for sure. But I can optimize the, the team means that uh, really I need to have the 11 uh, players that play in the league plus some uh, reserve. That's it. I cannot add any cost in terms of salary because in this moment I want to win. I want to have a reward at the end of the season that I am first in the league, etc. etc. So I need to optimize the salary increase. On top of that, I need to optimize the board reserve. I did a really good job in these seasons. I need to I want to see zero in the board reserve. I want to have all the money cash because in the right moment I need to complete the team to push with my core players. At the end, for this season, despite I'm training 10% stamina share, despite my midfield as the previous season is not enough for this season, I need to play with experience, trying to keep the presence in League 4, waiting the right moment to push. I need, really, for me, in Italy, we need to stay in League 4 and maybe in, in a, a smaller countries, League uh, 3 or maybe 2, I don't know. But in Italy is League 4, we need to stay there and when we have the player with the good age to increase the stamina share that is around at 29 years old, push and try to achieve the highest league. In this case, I put the ranking of uh, um, these days, I lost a match, I won the other one, but more or less the values are as I was expecting. I, am, I will fight to go in the play out. Uh, I will try to do my the best possible. I was uh, lucky that one of the team is a bot, but for the other team it's a battle. It's a battle of random experience trying with 10% stamina share with 11 players and that's it to remain in series 4. And this I need to do for 1, 2 and I think 3 seasons. After that, finally, I will increase the stamina share and I will push and hoping to have the luck to achieve really, really good uh, results in Italy. With that, that's it. Really, thanks if you are here. Remember to subscribe to the channel because really uh, will help me to share all the novelty that I'm thinking in the next months. Thank you, guys. Ciao, ciao.